Hey there guys, welcome to another GTA 5 car review. Today I've got a pretty unique treat. This is a Vapid Saddler 5.4 liter work truck crew cab. Speeding up review of the Saddler, start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip to go through the interior next year, take it for a brief test drive, and show you all the aspects of this amazing pickup truck. So, let's go ahead and start it up and let it run. Before we begin, I'd love to give a big thanks and shout out to Vapid of Los Santos here in the southern central area of Los Santos about a quarter mile from where I live in this game uh, for letting us use their lot. This vehicle has remote start, as I've seen with previous vehicles uh, in the channel. You seem to go to the vehicle mode functions on the channel, and uh, not the channel, the uh, controls, the interaction menu. Turn engine on in the vehicle mode functions menu. You can also turn on your headlights, neon lights of equipped, and radio station. This is a frost white exterior with black interior. Very quiet you know, startup. Let's go ahead and get the startup in third person as well. I like my unlike my old saddle that I used to drive personally, this has the stomach horn and does not feature the light bar. Power driving through a five speed automatic transmission. Let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle back on via our remote start. The Saddler is heavily based on the mid-1990s to early 2000s Ford Super Duty pickups. Of course, this generation of Ford Super Duties was replaced back in 2007, I believe. But this one is based on the more base model XL trim, uh, which I refer to internally as the work truck. Uh, this one has the work truck rack on it. And this one does have aftermarket wheels and tires to give it a bit more of a unique flair. This one has my crew emblem from Southwestern Racing Team on it. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. Under the hood is a 5.4 liter V8 based heavily on the 5.4 Triton engine that powered the Ford trucks, especially the base model Super Duties, as the only other option was the 7.3 liter power stroke turbo diesel in the early models and the 6.0 liter power stroke turbo diesels in the, mid the late models of this generation. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a sound clip. I'm gonna love that sound. Quite nice. Let's go ahead and drop the hood back down. On the interior, you get the same interior as the standard Saddler. I'll be with a cup in the, a cup in the cup holder, which I don't believe was there in mine. So let's go ahead and take this one for a brief test drive. On the block, I'm going to try to move this out as nice as I can. I'm going to try not to make this one of those reviews where I wreck the vehicle because I wrecked the vehicle. Oh, I had to do. Uh, Quite a nice truck to drive all around. It's got uh, quite a nice transmission. It pulls very well, as you might have noticed. Of course, that was quite a bad pull example because of the whole rough transmission. So, alrighty. Thank you so much for watching and checking out my Vapid Saddler work truck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.